Hi guys, my name is Aria, if you don't know me, and in this video I'm going to give you guys specific tips and strategies on how to get a 35 on the ACT math section. So my first tip is on timing. I have a very specific timing strategy that worked really well for me, and I hope it works for you. So the questions pro get progressively harder as the test goes on. The first couple questions are really easy, and the last few you might just have to guess if you haven't gotten to that level of math. So my advice is to do the first 30 questions of the ACT math section in 20 minutes, then do the next 10 in 10 minutes, and save a half an hour for the last 20 questions. A very important tip when it comes to this strategy is that you cannot let yourself move on to the next set of questions until you've answered the original set. So I've broken this up into three sections. You have the first 30 questions, which should be answered in 20 minutes, the next 10, which should be answered in 10 minutes, and then the last 20, which should be answered in about a half an hour. So if you like to skip around, feel free to skip around within the first 30 questions, but do not move on till the next 10 of, to the next 10 questions, which you should be answering in 10 minutes, until you've finished every single question in the original 30 questions. Then, for the next 10 questions, if you want to skip around in there, fine, but don't move on to the last 20 questions until you've answered all 10 of those. Then move on to the last set. You might think that you'll have a couple extra minutes at the end, but I can promise you that you won't. The ACT is so, so time pressured and this is the key. And another reason why this strategy works really well is that it forces you to answer every single question. You won't run out of time. So there's no guessing penalty on the ACT, unlike the SAT subject test. So make sure you're answering every single question. There's no harm. My second strategy for the ACT is to know formulas. You do not get a reference sheet or like a reference kind of table on the ACT like you do on the SAT. That being said, if you know the formula for a question on the ACT, it's usually a very easy problem and not conceptual unlike the SAT ones. I didn't know this when I was taking the ACT back in September, but I don't believe that they make you clear your memory. So if there's a formula you feel like that you're going to forget, just put it in a program on your calculator and it's easy access during the test. My last strategy is to take real previously administered ACT math practice tests. I'm not going to go into a ton of detail on this because I did in my first video and if you haven't watched it yet, I'll have it linked down below. But by taking real math, ACT math sections, you'll notice that there's kind of like a core of about 20 questions that show up on every ACT test. Literally the same concept, just with different numbers. When I took the ACT, I felt like I was taking a previous test that I had seen before, just with different numbers. And you'll start to see that more and more as you go through your practice tests, the nine practice tests that you should be taking if you watch my first video and your timing will improve naturally as you take those nine sections. So just don't worry about it if you're a little bit off on the timing, uh, the timing schedule I gave earlier in this video. The first couple practice tests you take, it'll improve naturally as long as you keep working on it every day. So that is it for my ACT math strategies. If you liked this video or found it helpful or got something out of it, please like and comment down below what you liked. I love getting feedback from you guys. And subscribe for more ACT content in the future.